Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the island. We have to start by updating the map to see the new coal. <laughs> you can see it unfold there <laughs> that we did in the last episode. Hopefully these two are the only ones. Actually, we, we, we may need... I put it here now. We may need to update the one below. Oh, it's looking pretty bad. <laughs> Um, so, hope everybody's doing fantastic today. I haven't actually seen your comments yet from the last video, nor your response, uh, because I am backlogging for DreamHack. By the time this video goes out, um, it is probably a Wednesday. I was looking at my schedule, I made a schedule and everything. Ah, <laughs> huh? it's gonna go pro! Uh, <laughs> it's probably a Wednesday when this goes out, and by that time I'm still at DreamHack, probably packing down and stuff, so, um, <clears throat> haven't seen your replies, but today we are going to deal with the hole that we blew out, um, and hopefully a few of you guessed what we're gonna do. The first thing, the first hint to make this, to make this thing even more obvious in case you didn't know what it is, it's probably in the title by the way, but, um, we're gonna basically redo this. This is our passive mob farm, and it is absolutely garbage. It's terrible. I think it produces six cows a minute, which is just ridiculous. So, all of this garbage have to come down, um, and it actually has to come down because I need to remove any mycelium. Ooh, wrong pickaxe. I need to remove any mycelium that I have on my uh, on my island. And also, I would like to re retake these pistons and stuff, because uh, I don't have a lot of pistons. Um, but, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna take all this and we're gonna put up a new mob farm. A passive mob farm. Uh, now, when I built this, I got a message on YouTube from a guy called Nembon MC. At the time, I had no idea who this person was. Basically, in short, he said, Iskal, your, your cow farm that you built is, is garbage. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Okay, and then he started to explain all the technical uh, stuff that goes into building like a passive mob farm and how the Minecraft game... Jeez, this is a bit loud. How the Minecraft game works around passive mob spawn. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shut this off. That would make it more pleasant for everybody. There we go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, he, he sent me like a video that he had made of how passive mob farms work and how to get the most efficient spawns. And, you know, I was pretty impressed, but I also thought, well, I'm alone in this world. I'm, I'm never gonna run out of steak, let's be honest. Uh, and then I ran out of steak. <laughs> uh, then, this was a few months ago. Uh, later, I've, I've since learned that Nembon is a member of Psycraft, I think it's called, which is my buddy Doc M's. Um, I don't know if it's his server or if he's... But he's showcasing it anyway. Um, and Nembon is, an, is a fantastic Minecrafter when it comes to building technical stuff. Um, so, pretty, pretty insane. And what he did, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully by this time he has a video out on his channel. He should have. He said he will have it out last week by the time you're watching this. Uh, he actually took his time to download my world, um, create that hole, probably in creative, that we blew out in survival last time, and created a mob farm. And then uh, created a passive cow farm. So, I actually have a world save <laughs> on my computer, which is a copy of my world a few episodes ago, like episode 70 or something, um, that contains what we're gonna build. And then he put like a counter in. So, what he found out by doing that, uh, by doing that mob farm where he did it on my island, he produced something like 350 cows an hour. <laughs> And you guys know Iskal is not much for like, oh, we're gonna go super technical. No, 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 I'm not much for that. But if we can make a super cow farm, I mean, it's it's a fun project, it's a fun thing to have. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm basically just gonna copy what he has done. I've written down like coordinates and stuff, because he have precisely mapped it out to match, um, to match an area that is suitable in the world. And that's where we blew out the thing yesterday. Yesterday. The other day. It was yesterday for me recording-wise. It was probably a few days ago for you watching it. But yeah. Um, so, that's what we're gonna be doing. But we have to take this garbage down. And I'm absolutely... Uh, you're absolutely right, Nembon MC. This here was garbage. 
Also, I'm gonna link his video in the description. I recommend you go and check him out. He has a lot of cool things. If you want to learn more about technical Minecraft, there's a there's a fantastic source for you. All right, we are back in the new coal. <laughs> this place is looking so scary. I have since last episode cleared up uh, all the remaining blocks. It actually took me like a good hour, even with the beak. It just kept falling down and stuff. Um, but yeah, I've, I've cleared up that and. Uh, uh, we, we got a lot of stuff to clear until this is pretty. But here is the idea. And again, this is Gnemon MC that came up with this. And I, I want to say, it's so inspiring to see people get that involved in your own world. Like, it, it's crazy. Uh, not just, you know, what he did was extreme. But people like you that comment and give me ideas. It's just, it's just amazing. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and build on Y level 6, I believe he had it at, which is this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and build a 14 by 14 square of mycelium, including these two blocks in the middle. So that is six on each side, is it? Three, four, five, six. And I will explain in a second what this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. And over here, four, five, six. And this should yield a lot of cows. Three, four, five, six. Six. Um, we do have that little mycelium platform up there still, but once we remove that, this is the only place for mushrooms to spawn. And apparently, I've tried, I've really tried to understand why this is the way it is, but I think it's just something that you, where you have to go and read the code of Minecraft, right? One of them things. Um, but <clears throat> basically, the game works in a way where it's going to look for the first available spawn space. Um, and every time it, it fails, so every time like it hits bedrock, for example, which is not available spawn space, um, it's going to decrease in chances. Is my volume up a little bit too much? Maybe. Uh, it's going to uh, decrease in chances. Something like that. I recommend you go and watch Nembon, Nembon's video. He will do a much better job than me at explaining this. Um, but basically, Minecraft checks from the bottom layer and then go upward. And every time it, it fails to find a spot, it, it decreases the chance for a mob to spawn. Is what I have understood it as. Or it has something to do with how much limit it's left to the sky. I, I don't understand. Uh, in short though, it's always better to build a passive mob farm down deep than up in the sky. And... Um, that's why we're doing it all the way down at Bedrock. Now, Nembon MC found this very specific spot um, and where we blew out the where we blew out the the hole because it is it had av availability for to play some stuff in the center of a 14 by 14. So this Bedrock here uh, was ideal to do this because what we're going to have here in the middle is Netherrack there, which is going to be burning. And before we place that, how is it that I do that? Before we place that, we have to have... Hmm... I should have crafted up some hoppers. Oh, I just hate navigating in bedrock. Hi, ender pearls. you are my friends today. Uh, before we do that, we have to build the collection system here absolutely first. So we're gonna need actually much more hoppers than that. Boop, boop, boop. Iron ain't the problem anymore though, you know? We, we're good with that now. So let's see, we're gonna need some of that. We're gonna need four mine carts and we have some pistons although we don't have um that may be a problem we don't have non-sticky ones which are easier but let's see if we can do this we're basically going to do what we did in our mob farm if you guys remember we're gonna put hopper mine carts in a block uh, and by doing that the mine cart will pick up anything that lands on the on the block so let's see if we can do this um i'm gonna go ahead and do something like this and then put a rail and a hopper minecart on that rail. Boop, like that. Remove the rail and then do the same here. And this was very, very tricky when I did this with, uh, <laughs> with the mob farm. I kept messing this up. So, okay, if we have it like that, yeah. And then we put some netherrack over here. And on this side, we have to block it. So let's go stone bricks. Do, 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 do. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm going to run out of enderpearls. That's my last one. 
boop boop like as so. oh and then we're gonna go with a piston and since i have a sticky piston i'll have to put uh, a block there and we should now be able to push that in but i think i want to do both at the same time so let's put the block there piston block and now just power these two that's not how you power a piston is called you fool okay i didn't do them at the same time but uh oh god Okay, we can remove that now, so... <laughs> there we go. That should have pushed the netherrack into the into the minecarts, and now we should be able to do something like this. I'm gonna place one at a time here, because it's very, very fragile. Oops. Second one goes there. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go! Freaking stupid minecarts. This is what kept happening. Because they are a little bit bigger than one block, right? So... Um... We don't want to nudge the other ones either. Yeah, I'll, I'll work this off of camera. But basically, we're going to have the collection system here in the middle. And the spot here was crucial uh, in my world. for uh, It's the only place that could, that could host this, basically. There we go. Now... Oops. Crap. <laughs> there we go. Now, uh, this here has four minecarts underneath them. And now let's see if we can come down and fit... Oh, you know what? I have to redo this, I think. Yeah, baby. Crap. I have to redo this whole thing. Dang it! Here's what we need to do. I, I, I made derp, okay? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I built the hoppers and everything. Um, I think... This was the way he had it. This is going to be important how we place this. But it looks like there's uh, some space there. We're, of course, going to need... We're of course gonna need some hoppers like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now we can go with the rails on top of that and try and nudge these in again. There we go. Redid it. So now if we drop a block here, that will go into uh, down here. And that will be picked up before the flames that we're gonna put here uh, kills it. So basically the cows, we shoved them down here and then we let them burn, giving us a uh, fried steak. Which is going to be fantastic. Um, now, there's a lot to this. And I'm not really sure what we're going to do on camera. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I have been <laughs> hard at work. It's a little bit tricky to, to do things down at, uh, at the bedrock level, for sure. But I've been collecting up all the materials we're going to need for this, hopefully. I've got a bunch of sea lanterns together. A bunch of uh, repeaters. Uh, almost two stacks. Some pistons. I'm so happy that we made that iron farm now. Uh, but more importantly, I also fitted a um, dropper. A, a um, Not a dropper. What am I saying here? Uh, an elevator to get the items up to this level. And then over here, we're going to probably make an Il Mango item. Ooh, more redstone. Item elevator eventually. Um, the way this works, the, the dropper line comes out here. And then I've just basically fit a uh, comparator clock within the bedrock and it looks a little bit silly but I'm comparing the signal from this hopper when that happens it sends a signal down this line activates the, this clock uh, and then sends a signal this way into this block which is picked up here and then I have direct power to this dropper which will indirectly power the dropper underneath that you can see right there the little corner of and the result boom and that should now have made it over here very good. Um, so that, that's very important. That was important to get done first. I didn't actually copy the Nembon build there. Um, I just did it. Now, however, I'm going to start creating this farm. By the way, I, I stepped away for a little bit. I uh, was up there and, you know, just collecting materials. And I came down and I had like 10 calves on this. So it is indeed probably going to be super efficient whilst, once we make it so that the cows will automatically get killed. Um, but <clears throat> I'm basically going to build this next, uh, the next part of this farm, just copy what he did, and it's going to take a little while for me, but, um, I figured it's probably easier to, to do that rather than try and, uh, try and build it and explain what I'm doing, because I'm, I don't really know all the, all the details of this thing, uh, but long story short, our ob objective here is to flush the cows down to this thing here light this on fire and flush the cows down here uh he has a way that he has set it up for me and, and a way that he's doing it with tripwires basically we're gonna have 
I said that in the last segment, didn't I? We're gonna have tripwires running across, the cows spawn, activate the tripwires. These pistons, this is actually too, too high up. Uh, this piston will be sitting here. Uh, it will be powered by default and then we'll have water behind here. Uh, we're gonna use uh, pressure plates to keep the water from flowing where it shouldn't flow. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start piecing this together and hopefully we come back and have something incredible. All right, so I've been carefully placing down blocks and looking at Nambon's uh, example. And now, can we kill a bat? Yeah, 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 stupid bats. Um, now, I think we're ready to place our water down, the water that's gonna push the cows down. Ah, look at that sound. Look at that sound, hi. Hear that sound. Uh, I did bring some ice, but do want to bring some buckets as well. The idea is, I have, um, I have string everywhere uh, where the cows can spawn at the moment, and uh, then that string is basically connected to a redstone line that triggers all of these uh, uh, pistons. And hopefully, if I laid everything down correctly, if we place ice uh, water on the chiseled stone here. We should be seeing a, um, a result of the water all uh, going towards the middle. So that, that's at least the plan. These are going to be a little bit trickier to place. Maybe we do ice there. <laughs> Remember last time, last time I placed down ice. I <gasps> uh oh, uh oh, we got to do this properly. That will flow down on the redstone. Oh, I may have already ruined it. Doesn't look good over there. <laughs> Always redstone and water. So dangerous. Okay. And over here. No, jeez. Come on now. I don't, I don't really, I really don't want to step on them. Oh yeah, yeah, this is how we place it. <laughs> Okay, so let's do that, and we need a little bit more there. And <clears throat> the way Nembon has this... Ooh, I don't want to do that. The way Nembon has this placed um, is, I think, important. Like, all of these pressure plates on the sides, all of these pressure plates here, I think the only reason I can see a reason for that... Again, watch this video for a proper explanation, but the only... Um, well, these are holding back the water, this one here, but this one here, and these, I don't know if it's because that will tell Minecraft that there's no valid spawn point there, maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, also, one thing that we're going to need, as I can see, is that we're going to put string down here. I wonder if that will block the... Actually, that's not going to work. That's going to just flush it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that just flushes the string. Have I messed this up? Oh, I have. Something is... Oh, oh, oh. Ice is not melted everywhere. <laughs> I'm terrible at following tutorials. Jeez. Okay, it's all ice. No, we still got some ice here. Uh, maybe... We got glass on the back, so that should be fine to break. This is scary. Okay, let's try it now. But it does flush down. It, it looks like it's offset. Um, Iskal made some errors. Have I made... Wait, the hole is not centered. Oh my goodness, the hole is not centered, ladies and gentlemen. The hole where I placed the minecarts, which was important that we did first, is not freaking centered. Ah. Oh. I'm such an idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> so, let's see. Do we have enderpearls? We have enderpearls. I have been running this now for about um, an hour, maybe. Not even an hour. Um... <laughs> And the loot, the drops, are absolutely insane, okay? 
This is taking me about two days to build. I'm not even kidding. I, I've ran out of materials and I have to go up and down, lost ender pearls, etc. But definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, take a look at this now. Oh, baby, come on now. This is so insanely quick. It spawns so many cows here. Um, unfortunately, there, there's a little bit of a bad news thing as well. I went to Shreep last night and I decided to go AFK at the, at the iron farm thinking, can I get up here by the way? Boop. Thinking that this will definitely be loaded at the same time because this is in the spawn chunks. Um, but not a single stake had, had been dropped through my absence or through my AFKing at the iron farm. Ooh, hi. Which is a little bit sad, because that was kind of half the half the idea with this. But I guess <clears throat> the spawn chunks are right over there. And now when we're in this new Minecraft 1.10, we can press F3 and G to, uh, to see the chunk borders. So let's see, the, the spawn chunk is the one with the torch there maybe? Yeah, this one here is the spawn chunk. And this is where the end... Um, where the end outputs items, so this is where we shot through ender pearls back in the days. And <clears throat> I was under the impression that this loaded 96 blocks in all directions, which means from here to the next one it's 16, and then we go 32, and plus 16 is 48, and 96 would be here, or no, sorry, <laughs> 64, 76, no, 78, I don't know. I thought it was in within range, but I guess it isn't, unfortunately. So, um, that's a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Not much we can do about it. But I'm very, very happy with this. We're not going to need it. Oops. Hi. We're not going to need it to be in the spawn chunks anyway. Um, because, you know, it's going to be... It's going to be producing enough just when we're around on the island anyway. So, maybe we should quickly take a look at what I did. Again, Nembon, Nembon MC's video will explain why things work the way they work. But basically we have four layers, all have tripwires on top of them. So whenever something steps, water is dispensed. That washes them down to the center. And I had the flames too high before, so I moved them down one. I had to redo the minecarts again. <laughs> um... And yeah, down there they just get burned. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. The spawning platforms and then the water flushing. Um, there's also lights here to make sure that it's lit up. Ooh, crap. <laughs> In the center and you shouldn't be pointing. Let's see, it's this one here and this one. Do apologize for the loudness. Um, the pressure plates on the side here, I'm pretty sure are just to, to hold water in place and to block spawns. Even though we were in a mushroom biome, so I don't I don't know if they're necessarily needed, but I decided to do what Nembon did in his uh, video and in his world. Um, and yeah, four layers. That that's pretty much it. And then it's just a hopper line, which was a little bit tricky with all the uh, all the bedrock. Um, and what we're gonna be doing? Oh yeah, look at that already more. Uh, from here, we're gonna be be building one of them Il Mango's item. Elevators. I think I said that earlier, but it's been it's been a while for me here while recording, um, <clears throat> and I'm not really sure. We could we do have our item stream, our main base item stream. Uh, where can I get up? Like here. So many times I've ran out of ender pearls while building this and going up and down. Um, we have our main item stream. If I can get up, that leads to our storage room, which I suppose we could use. If we wanted to, uh, and I think it wouldn't be too hard to connect that together. Let's get this away. Beautiful sunrise over the island. Uh, hello, sun. Oh, how I missed you. Yeah, I think the item stream is right underneath here, actually, underneath the iron farm. Um, so we could do that. Just connect, connect up an item elevator to that item stream. Or we could have a separate kind of storage facility here. Um, I'm gonna leave that up to what you guys say, because um, it would be really interesting. As far as this hole goes, I'm thinking meteor, meteor hit or something, using the new magma blocks and 
making it a little bit overgrown. We can't cover up anything in the middle, you see, so we have to be a little bit careful. Not even with glass, apparently. Um, and not leaves either. Well, I think we could use glass, but we can't use leaves, so I don't think it's going to look good. Um, but instead, let's let's make use of it and, and make it a, a crater of some sort. But I want to see what you guys say, so we're not going to do that today. Besides, I'm, I'm absolutely knackered from, <laughs> from doing all the redstone and that down there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you say about that. I'm also going to clear up all the diorite and the granite and jeez. A lot of, lot of just junk in the side there. Now, let's head over to the iron farm. I want to show you... Um, I've done a little bit of building there. I think I said that as well earlier, unless I cut it away. These episodes are the worstest, man. Just uh, uh, keep... What was I going to say? You just keep keep doing cutscenes, and I don't like it a bit. Um, it's easier to do... Like one session, six hours maybe, and then you then you cut it down to thirty minutes. But when you when you go over two sleeps in real life, then uh, <laughs> things start to get crazy in your head. You forget what you speak about. Anyway, I was thinking we could fly over there. I've been doing this for the for the uh, last few times because it's just so fun to fly the elytra. If I can hit myself, there we go. Get some lift. Um, but yeah, I'm backlogging quite a bit, as I said, and I wanted to just mention that as well. This episode is recorded a week before you see it. Um, and, uh, it's because I'm going to DreamHack, and I hope to meet some of you there. Um, hopefully, someone comes around and says hi, but you, you never know. Let's see, it's over here. Um, so, at this stage as well, when you backlog in something this far behind, like, it's rarely that I ever backlog a week. But, when you do that, it's always so annoying not to, not to have seen your guys' comments and anything. It's just... Ah, you know, but after this one, I'll be able to I'll be able to see on the see your comments before I continue here. Let me grab some ice here. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you what I've done here to kind of wrap this episode up. I guess I did uh, continue to to do the same style that we did with the with the silos. And look at this, we're getting iron now. I've been AFK one night. This one is still empty, but we have a little bit over over one chest now, which is fantastic. Um, and what else have I done here? Nothing. Nope, I've just put up the walls. I think this is a cool look though, and I'm thinking the nether portal will have somewhere around here so that you kind of walk into this. There was also a suggestion in the comments from you guys saying we should definitely do an AFK fish farm here, which we absolutely should. Uh, that's a fantastic idea. That means that we can basically have AFK fishing, iron farming, witch farming later, um, wheat and carrots and all the other things that we're doing here. <clears throat> and I need an AFK fish farm as well. I've been thinking about that for a while. So that's that's a really good idea. I did do two things here though. I put the magma block down like this around the corner or around the edge his, which I think looks pretty good. Um, you'll have to let me know, but I think it goes very well with the with the sand and with the black stained glass. A lot of people said that we should do um, orange stained glass on top of it. We may try that. I, I in my head that's not going to look great though, but. We may try it. Uh, also, I made an input here for the item elevator. So this, anything I put in there, we should be seeing coming up the elevator here. For no other reason than just having a cool item elevator, right? Come on now, wool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. Okay, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today. I'm sorry if this episode is a little choppy and back and forth and maybe it's even short. I have no idea. I haven't edited it yet. But I hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the like button down below. I'm very happy with the cow farm. Leave me some comments and some nice words. And I'll see you in the next episode.